Hey everyone, how's it going? So I've been trying to come up with some new and fun surprise fold ideas, and I've been coming up with lots of ideas. And I thought it'd be fun today to show you guys how to draw a SpongeBob surprise fold. Now if you guys have any ideas for any new surprise folds, definitely let me know and I'd be happy to try them. But thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Now to start off with our surprise fold, we're going to begin by folding our paper. So you want to take your paper and fold it in half just like you're making a card. Go ahead and line up the corners and then give it a nice fold right here. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it in half again and then give it another nice crease and that way we have a kind of like bookmark shape. Then what you want to do is you want to open it up and when you open it you have these three little lines. These two are going to serve as your nice guidelines so you know not to draw outside of here or underneath here. Now to start off with our Spongebob surprise fold, we're going to begin right here and let's start with the nose. So I'm going to begin by making a little line that's just going to come up and then it's going to come down a little bit lower than when I started to draw up. Now for the eyes, I'm going to start right here and I'm going to begin by making a line that's just going to curve up and then it's going to come down to here. And then I'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to curve up and then we're just going to come down. Now right here, I'm going to make a little kind of like bump shape and then I'm going to do the same thing over here, just a little bump shape. And then right here, we're going to draw a line that's just going to go down and then up. And same thing here, we're just going to go down and up for the bottom of the eyes. Now inside of here, we're going to make a little sad face inside each one. And then we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to go right across the top of the fold and then up. Now, starting in here, we're going to make the inside of the eyes. So I'm going to begin by drawing a circle for an eye. And then over here, I'm going to make another circle for an eye. And then inside of here, I'm going to make a smaller circle and another one in here. Then we're just going to color in most of this, leaving just a little bit white. Now, right above the eyes, I'm going to draw three little eyelashes. So we'll draw three here, and then we're going to draw three right here, too. Now, at the bottom of the fold, underneath here, we're going to make a little line that's just going to go down, it's going to go up, down, and then up again. Now starting here, I'm just going to make a little wavy line that's going to come up here. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just going to make a little wavy line that's just going to come right up here. Next we're just going to make a little wavy line that's going to come across. And then we're going to continue this down here. We're just going to continue this little wavy line across right to here. Now starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes down. And then we're going to make a line that comes down over here. Then we'll draw a line that comes right across for his little square body. At the bottom here, we're just going to draw a little line that goes down, over, and up. And same thing here, we're going to go down, over, and then up. 
Then we're going to draw two lines that come down and two lines that come down for skinny little legs. Now right underneath his little lip there, we're going to make a little smiley face. And we're going to draw a line that goes out at an angle and it's going to come in. Another one here that goes out at an angle and then in. Then we're going to make a line that comes across. And right here we're going to make a V shape on each side of the tie. Now right across here we're just going to make a couple little straight lines to kind of show where his belt would be. And you can see we left a little bit of space in between each one. Now right here I'm just going to add a little line that's going to come down and over. And then we'll do a little line that's going to come down and then over here. We're going to draw a little line that's going to come down and then it's going to curve up. Do the same thing here, a little line that goes down, and then it's going to curve up. Make a little line that comes out and in, and then we'll go up. And a little line that comes out and then in, and then it's going to go up. We'll make another little line or two right in there just to show that he's got more than one finger. Now we just want to add a few little spots on here. So we're just going to make a couple little circles and oval shapes right around here just to show all the little holes that he has because he is a sponge. So we're just going to make a couple little circle and oval shapes right around here. Now once we have them all drawn out, then we want to open this up and draw all the details on the inside. Now once our pictures open up, you can see that we have two halves of our SpongeBob. We have the top half and the bottom. Now we just want to add all the fun details on the inside. So let's begin right here, and we want to connect this down with another wavy line. So we're just going to draw a little wavy line that's going to come down to connect it. And then we'll do another one here, another little wavy line that's just going to come down to connect it. Now, starting here, we're going to draw a long line that's just going to come down. It's going to go around here, and then we're going to bring it up. And I made it a little bit wider down here and a little skinnier up here just because I didn't want these lines up here or else we'd see them when it's all closed up. Now, at the top here, let's make his buck teeth. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that goes down, over, and up. And another one here that goes down, over, and then up for his little buck teeth. For his tongue, let's make a line that curves up and down. And then another one right here, we're just going to go up and down. Now for the back of his mouth, let's make a line that comes up. And then we're going to go down and back up like this. Then we'll just curve this back around. Next, you just want to fill this in with a few more little circle and oval shapes on here. So we're just going to add a couple more right around here. Now, inside of his mouth, I want to make a little Krabby Patty. So first thing is let's make a sad face. And then let's draw a line across to connect it. Right here, let's make a little bumpy, wavy line across. And then right here, I'm going to make a bunch of little small bumps as I go down, over, and up. For the bottom bun, we'll go down, we'll bring it over, and then up like this. Now you can leave it just like this, or we can add a couple little extra details. I'm going to add some little jellyfish in here. So I'm going to begin by making a 
little curved line, and then I'm just going to make a little wavy line underneath it. And I'm going to do this a couple more times. So we'll make a little curve line, and then we're just going to make a little wavy line underneath it. And then we'll put one over here. We'll do a curve line, and we're just going to put that little wavy line for the jellyfish underneath it. Then all we have to do is just draw some little tentacles of the jellyfish. I'm going to make these go all the same direction instead of normally they'd be kind of going all over the place, but I'm going to keep these all going the same direction. So we just kind of go down and then back up. And we'll do the same thing over here too. We're just going to go down and then kind of curve it around. And then if you want to, you can add some little circles in here just to make it look like there are some bubbles and stuff coming out of here. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. And there you go. There's your drawing of your SpongeBob SquarePants Surprise Fold. When I have it all folded up, I just have a normal little SpongeBob. And then when I open it up, we can see he's eating a Krabby Patty, and there are a bunch of bubbles and little jellyfish swimming around. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.